Aum Sum walked across the open yard as the first hints of a storm swirled above him. The air carried the earthy scent of wet soil even before the rain began, and the wind tugged lightly at his clothes. He paused mid-step when the sky darkened further. The clouds swelled with shifting shades of gray, folding and unfolding like slow-moving waves. Huh? A bright ribbon of light suddenly stretched across the sky, so quick and intense that it seemed to carve through the darkness. Aum Sum's eyes narrowed instinctively as the brightness faded. For a moment, the world felt silent again, as if waiting. Then, a long, rolling boom traveled toward him. The delay between the two sensations felt unmistakable. And as he stood in the middle of the yard, noticing that gap, a quiet question huh? formed in his thoughts. Why do we see lightning before thunder? So, let's help Om Sum understand this natural mystery. Why do we see lightning before thunder? Lightning and thunder huh? are two parts of the same event, created during powerful movements inside storm clouds. When the inside of a cloud becomes highly charged due to collisions between tiny ice particles, an enormous buildup of electrical energy forms. This energy eventually becomes too strong to remain contained within the cloud. It needs a pathway to release itself. When the energy finds a route through the air, it surges forward in a bright streak known as lightning. This bolt heats the air around it to extremely high temperatures in a fraction of a second. The heat from the lightning bolt causes the surrounding air to expand suddenly. This rapid expansion creates shock waves that move outward in all directions. As the shock waves spread, they gradually slow down and become the deep rolling sound known as thunder. Although lightning and thunder happen at the exact same moment, they do not reach our eyes and ears at the same speed. The reason lies in the difference between how fast light travels and how fast sound travels. Light travels unimaginably fast through the atmosphere, moving at about 300,000 kilometers per second, which allows it to reach the eyes almost the instant a lightning bolt appears. Sound, however, moves far more slowly traveling through air at roughly 340 meters per second as a wave of tiny vibrations passed from one molecule to the next. Because of this difference, the bright flash from a lightning bolt arrives first, while the booming thunder follows moments later. Huh? Sometimes, lightning can be seen from many kilometers away, but thunder might seem faint or may huh? not be heard at all. This happens because sound loses energy as it travels. The vibrations gradually weaken as they spread farther. If the lightning occurs very far away, the thunder may fade before it reaches the observer. Light, however, does not fade in the same way. It travels smoothly across long distances, allowing the brightness of lightning to be visible even from far away. The atmosphere also affects how sound reaches us. Layers of warm and cool air can bend or redirect sound waves. On some days, thunder may seem louder and sharper because the air helps carry the sound more efficiently. On other days, the sound may feel muted or broken because the air layers scatter the vibrations. Light, on the other hand, moves in nearly straight paths and is hardly affected by temperature or air density changes in comparison. Humidity in the air can also influence how we experience thunder after seeing lightning. Moist air contains more water vapor, which increases its density. Denser air can carry sound waves more efficiently because the vibrating molecules are closer together. As a result, during humid weather, thunder may sound fuller or travel a slightly longer distance. In contrast, when the air is very dry, the molecules are spaced farther apart, causing sound to lose energy more quickly. This makes thunder seem softer or shorter. Huh? The shape of the land also changes how thunder reaches us. 
In wide open areas, thunder spreads smoothly and forms long, rolling sounds because there are fewer surfaces to interrupt it. In places with many obstacles, such as cities or valleys, the sound waves may bounce around before arriving. This creates thunder that comes in short bursts or uneven patterns.